Hi there, my name's Simon Drew and welcome to the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. Now today I want to go through a couple of lessons that Marcus Aurelius says that he learned from a guy called Apollonius. And uh, these lessons both have to do with kind of curbing the ego, right? Really getting the ego under control and showing it who's boss. Because really the ego can just absolutely ruin so many situations in your life if you don't keep it under control. And uh, the first thing that he said that he learned was that a man can show both strength and flexibility, right? And so now that's actually, that's actually a brilliant lesson to learn, that there is actually strength in being flexible. There's strength in being able to change your mind, change your direction uh, in any area of your life if you're proven that that's a better direction to go. And you might think of this like, uh, you know, imagine a time in your life when you'd spent a lot of time thinking and preparing and planning for this, this one situation that was coming up or it was a project at work or, you know, you were in charge of something and, and you'd put all this effort in and you knew that this was going to be the thing that works. And then all of a sudden somebody comes out and says, well, actually, have you thought about it like this? Because I think that this is the right direction to go, right? And then what happens? We start to see the ego pop up and say, well, you know, I've just put all this effort in and I've done all this work. Who is this person to come in here and show me or say to me that this is the wrong way to go? But that's all the ego, right? That's not true strength. And and, and that's not what it means to be strong, right? What it means to be strong, as Marcus Aurelius is suggesting here, is to say, okay, I've put in all this effort. However, if somebody shows me a better direction, then I will gladly go down that better direction. And, you know, we seem to have this, uh, well, they call it the sunk cost fallacy, I believe, you know, where we've already put in a lot of effort or a lot of time or a lot of money. And all of a sudden, if we have to change direction, we decide to focus on what we've already spent as opposed to what we could lose by continuing down that direction, right? Or on what we could gain by going in a different direction. So I think that's a brilliant lesson to learn there, that there is strength in flexibility, in being able to listen to the right people and get the right information and change course if necessary. And the second piece of advice that Marcus Aurelius got from uh, Apollonius that I want to share with you uh, says the following. He learned how to accept favors from friends without losing your self-respect or appearing ungrateful. Now, this is a great piece of advice because what he's suggesting there is that there has to be a balance struck between not losing self-respect and being very grateful for the favor that your friend has given you uh, because there is a lot of strength in receiving uh, as well as giving, right? There is, there is a proper way to receive from your friends when they want to help you out. And this is just great life advice. You know, if somebody does you a favor, you don't want to be... You know, we all know what it sounds like to be losing your self-respect, right? You know, oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'll repay you. I promise. Oh, I, I can't believe you've done this for me. It's, stop, right? They've done you the favor. It's okay. This isn't the end of the world, right? So don't lose your self-respect. But at the same time, you don't want to appear to be ungrateful. So respectfully be grateful for what they've given you and show them that you're grateful for what they've given you and show them with a sense of strength that, that you, you appreciate this uh, in a way that, that is meaningful, in a way that, that you would like to repay this and, and respectfully appreciate that, that uh, gift of generosity from your friend. And so I just think that that's a great piece of advice that can help us to really think about the role that the ego plays in so many of the uh, decisions that we make, so many of the situations that we face in life and so many of our relationships. And, and so both of those pieces of advice, you know, both learning the strength in flexibility and also learning how to, how to be a good receiver as well as a good giver, uh, you know, these are kind of things that can help us to maybe curb the ego a little bit and say, you know, I have control over this. I can, I can be strong and I can receive. I can be strong and I can change direction. That's okay. So these are some great pieces of advice that I'd recommend that you think about in your own life. And uh, I'm really enjoying going through all of Marcus Aurelius's, you know, personal ideals that he's getting from all of these incredible people, because there's some real nuggets of wisdom in all of these uh, these sections here where he's writing about these people. And, and I think that it's just great to think about how you can add some of these ideas into your own personal ideal and into your life. So I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. 
But anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Until then, I hope that this episode has helped you on your rise to the good life. Ciao. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Practical Stoic Bites podcast. If you've enjoyed the show, then please subscribe and make sure you leave a positive review. Also, I'd love to invite you to join our Facebook group. It's called the Practical Stoic Mastermind. There you can get heaps of helpful tips and you can keep up to date with everything that's happening with the show. Finally, if you'd like some help redefining or moving closer to your ideal life, then head to simonjedrew.com forward slash coaching.